Uh, this is a homecoming meeting. It's going to take let's just everybody press out and let's do our best. Or as Sam said the other night, press in. So we're going to take and just get in. Let's do our best. Let's obey the Lord. Uh, whatever the Lord wants to be done, it'll be all right. It'll be nothing, no harm in, in what the Lord wants done. So we just praise and honor the Lord for everything. Got a message today from Brother Jeff. Uh, talk like his boy was uh, sick, running fever, maybe I think I said 103. Um, won't be able to find out until maybe tomorrow, talk like uh, whether he's got COVID or not. But uh, asked him to take and be a praying for him. A lot of sickness, a lot of, a lot of death going on in our country. Long with, among our community, we want to take notes and be praying for that. Be praying for one another. Uh, so much we want to take and be praying for. But let's just press out this week and let's do do each and everything we can. Let's hold nothing back. We'll have no regrets at the end of the, at the end of the meeting. If we want to take and just do what the Lord give us to do. So just come on, somebody. Give in your testimony. Give in your request. Saying, let's be led by the Spirit tonight. Be another. Brother Wheel, remember my name's Taylor. Um, she got prayed up last Thursday. I was doing good. Um, she, she, was in a, she was in a bad way, and you know, I thought that uh, she was on drugs and stuff real bad, and she was hooked on about five different things. When she prayed through, she uh, quit it all. And it's, uh, I really thank the Lord for it because. He just helped her so much. And uh, just remember her, you know, and uh, just pray for her. Yeah. yeah. Be another. Yeah. Remember Sam? I'm taking, uh, been cutting hay. He's congested real bad this way, uh, tonight, so pray for him. We'll come by and help him. Be another. Yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. Let's pray for Ella. We'll come by and help her. No doubt no, having to face a battle. <coughs> Needs the Lord to go and take the help her in. Be another. Be another. Be another. Remember my brother. Yeah. Still remember me when you pray. Did the surgery that month. Added to the book. Yeah. He's still able. He's still able. Still able. Yeah. Be another. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else. Someone else? I talked to a 
study Bible. So today, I've been helping another buddy of mine down at his garage. And uh, I had the same for many years. And it came with white coming through, and, uh, which I know both of them. He told me that his, his wife is now recovering from a broken hip. Just found her mother passed away. And within like six months, he lost. I won't think he called me three. Maybe four. Yeah. I don't remember her. He said it's been real bad on her hip. He said that I hadn't seen him in so long that he had to tell me that four years ago that he gave his wife to the Lord. So, you know, and his wife both parts of them did. So, but just remember her. She's, you can see in the car, she didn't get out of the car, didn't talk to nothing. He tested really going to her. Just remember her. Yeah. Remember him. Be another tonight. He had a good one. Because it's on the bad side. And they lost their mommy in February. Yeah. And then they lost their daddy and they just buried him. Yeah. Be another. Mm-hmm. Someone else. Brother Jerry McKinney was sad to remember his mom when you prayed. Yeah. Asked me to give him the place to go. So remember her when you prayed, going through that. Yeah. Be anyone else? Remember Gracie when you prayed, but the boat was touch her, family come around, she laid pain down. I'm really afraid she's going to get her. Yeah. Me, anyone else? If not, that's all we'll go before the Lord in prayer. Let's remember these requests tonight. Let's do our best tonight when we get up.
touch us in that, Lord. Lord, that Lord, Lord, tonight, Lord, if we know, Lord, that thy can touch, Lord, that you can do things tonight, Lord, that the doctors can touch. You can see what's needed, Lord, tonight, Lord, if we praise you and honor you, but in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen. How the glory to the Lamb of God. Praise your holy name.
out. Surprise me. Dark and plant mice. <laughs>
Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm waiting on the at the river to go across. Good to be here, hey amen. It's homecoming meeting. That means everybody. Yeah. Get in, do your part. That's right, Come on, hey Amen. Hey We've all got a part. Yes, we have. Hey amen. I about, hey amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Where are we at? Hey amen. Where are we at? Hey amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Hey amen. Friends, tonight, hey amen. The Lord. Hey amen. I may not know where you're at. Amen. I don't know how many times you prayed today. I don't know how many times that you raised your hand today. I don't know how many times that you said, Thank you, Lord, for letting me be here. I don't know that. But He knows every time that you prayed. He knows that you said, Thank you, Lord. He knows that I was tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. And I'm telling you, amen, the more we do for Him, the more that He'll let us do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. The reason why we don't get a feeling like we used to, we don't want to do what we used to. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. Well, I'd like to feel Him when I got up. Pray before you go to bed. Come on. Woo! And if he wakes you up at two o'clock, pray, I pray again. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Well, preacher, I've got my routine. I pray three times a day. And that's all I pray. Good for you. Yeah, Amen. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. You might need to pray in between them. Amen. 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 It's good to be in the house of God. Yeah. Yes, it is. Amen. He come for one purpose. He did. One purpose only. He, did. he come to die for me and you. Yes. Amen. Give us life. Amen. Amen. He come to die. Yeah. And he died. Yeah. Come on. But he done some works. He yeah. did. From the time he was born. Yes. To the time that they killed him. Amen. Or that he give his life. Give his life. Yeah. He on. said, No man taketh, I give. Yeah. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. He give it up. He could call angels right out of heaven. Yeah, he could have. Amen. Let me got new, let me tell you a news break. I know they won't put it on the news channels. I know he won't do a lot of things. But he could stop a lot of this junk that's going on on this earth yeah. if he yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All he has to do is say quit. Come on. Amen. Amen. And it can quit. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Got your Bible? Amen. St. John 10. We might as well just start out right tonight. Yeah, Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen. We're in a time. Amen. Here a while back I preached on what? Amen. Mercy and compassion and what? Amen. But I'm going to preach to you tonight. It don't matter how much the devil comes at you. You still got the victory. Yeah. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. If you want it, you've got it. Amen, Lord, the Lamb of God. The devil can't make you do nothing that you don't want to do. Amen. And he, if you want to do it, he'll encourage you to do that. Hallelujah, Lord, the Lamb of God. Oh, 
Lamb of God. A lot of people blaming a lot of things on the devil when the devil ain't got no part of it. Come on, it's true. Amen. Amen. He's not even involved in it. No. Yeah. Anymore. But that's an excuse for him. Yep. Yep. The devil made me do it. That's yep. right, amen. The so devil made me do it. You don't want to blame off on somebody else. Don't want to take blame. Yeah, that's right. Well, I just followed my own lust. Yeah, amen. Right. Right. I just done what I wanted to do. Huh? It's the truth. It's the truth. I just do what I want to do. Amen. Start at 10th verse. but We're going to read 9. I know I preach this a lot, it seems like. And if I don't, I, I, I come across it somewhere in the message, somewhere a lot. Amen. But 9 says, well, let's go back to 8. All that ever come before me are thieves and robbers. Yeah. But the sheep did not hear them. The thief, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Amen. Now down here at 10. Uh, the thief cometh not uh, but for to steal. Uh, amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. I told you I'm going to preach. We yeah. got the victory. Uh, got amen. Oh. From the time that you knelt down. Uh -huh. uh, from the time that you got saved. That you come in the door. Uh, oh, yeah. And you got saved. Uh, uh, the devil's come after you. Yeah. Uh, amen. He's come to kill, steal uh, everything that the Lord uh, yeah. has put in you. Come on, Amen. He come to get it. Amen. Amen. He fit with Michael in the ark. Yes, he did, yeah. uh, and couldn't do nothing with him. Uh, uh, Amen. Was and cut. they cast it him. On, uh, 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 two thirds of the angels out of heaven. Uh, well, glory to the Lamb of God. Uh, uh, but he didn't get nothing from him. Uh, I'm going to tell you tonight. Uh, it don't matter. Uh, if you got your cover, a stuff covered oh. by the blood, oh. he so cannot steal it. Yeah. He come to get it. You gotta leave the door open oh. uh, for him to come in yeah, and driving. get it. Amen. Steal. Amen. You quit guarding uh -huh. what you got. Come on, man. <laughs> No, oh, Lord, this is a slow down message. Great, you, great. Help him more. Amen. Amen. If you know the thief was coming, what would you do? You'd watch. You'd wait on him. You'd wait on him. Yeah, come on, man. You'd be aware of him. Mm -hmm. You'd say, man. Be looking, man. Come on, preach. You'd lock everything up you got. Come on, man. Come on. Show it today. Preach it, Randy. Come on. Told you, he's coming. He spotted it out. Come on, man. <laughs> he knows what you got. Yeah, he does. Uh -huh. He knows the value yeah, of everything that you got. Yeah. 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 He's coming after it. Yeah. You know how many young time. Hey, man, you wouldn't go in there. Lay the keys out. Come on, man. Hey, man. Pack the television up. Come on, I'm going to preach to you. Come on. Pack your computer up. Come on. Hey, man. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God. I've got a big milk jug out, water jug out there that's glass. That's a man from almost to the top. I wouldn't roll it over there to the door. Hey, man, and have everything go waiting on him. Hey, man, but you know what I'd do? I'd begin to guard what I got. Hey, man, I'd begin to take care of it. I'd begin to take precaution. Hey, man, to stop the thief from getting what I got. Come on, man. Amen. When God gave me salvation uh, and He saved me, uh, Amen. I need to guard it. Yeah, with my, life. With my life. Come on, Amen. With everything that I got, yeah. Amen. I don't need to, Amen. Uh, I leave it open. Come on, uh, and the devil can come by and steal what I got. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank
Well, I couldn't do nothing with it. I couldn't do nothing with it. The reason why you give him opportunity. Amen. You give him opportunity. You listen to him. And you took the guard down. Yep. Yeah. Amen. He shows you a few things that got you interested. Yep. And got your mind off of what you was guarding. Yeah. And got your mind on something else. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. And when you get your mind off of that that He's trying to get, you'll leave the door open to it. Amen. And it can walk right in yeah. and take what you got. Amen. So many times. Mm. Oh, let me preach. Amen. 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 Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen. So many times that you've worked and you worked hard. Yeah. Amen. To get what you got. Yeah. And all of us has, has said at one time or another, there's two things we hate. Yep. It's a thief and a rogue. Mm-hmm. I can't stand them. A liar, a liar. A liar and a thief. Mom, we man. can't stand them. Yeah. Amen. So if that's the case, why are we butting up with the devil? Amen. That's all that he is. Amen. He's Amen. A thief, Amen. A liar and a liar. Yeah. Amen. Come on, and he's the father yeah. of a liar. Oh, really. Amen. Glory the Lamb of God. Amen. We say that. Oh, if you just come and ask me. I'd give you anything that I got. Amen. Amen. But I hate a thief. Amen. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen. That thief, that right man, that devil, he come to steal. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. You got kids. You got kids. You got kids. Come on, preach. Help him more. Jerry's got kids. I've got kids. Grandkids. Come on, Randy. We got that little blonde-headed boy that likes to run around here every now and then. Everybody loves him. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, my, my friend. What if somebody stole him? Yeah. Now think about this. Yeah. What if somebody stole your kids? Mm-hmm. Amen. What if somebody took them? Mm-hmm. They, we call it kidnapping. The same thing as stealing. Stealing, hey, Amen. Same thing. Yeah. What if hey, somebody got our kids? Come on, man. Hey, Amen. And we'll do everything in our power to get them back. Hey, Come on, man. Them. What would we do? Everything would we, we could. Begin to search. Mm-hmm. Would we begin to hunt? Come on, would man. we begin to, hey, man, try to find on, them? Man. We'd spend every dime that we oh, have. Yes. Every dime that we can borrow. Uh-huh. Everything in our power. Uh, to find our kids. Uh, yeah. We call every uh, yeah. amen, investigator uh, yeah. ever caught that our kids. Yeah. Uh, we have them on the case. Uh, yeah. Amen. And we do everything. Uh, amen. That that God has given you. Uh, amen. Why do you want uh, uh, just let the devil take it uh, yeah. and say, oh, I can't do nothing about yeah. it. Uh, amen. I can't do nothing about it. Sad part about it is we helped him do it. 
Amen. Amen. We helped him do it. How did we help him? Come on, man. We discouraged our younger generation. Yep. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. We discouraged them. Yes. Amen. That they don't know what to believe. Right. Amen. We right. say one thing when we are around Christians, but when we are around our own and by ourselves and just them, we're a different person. Preach, Amen. That's a hit. Come on. Amen. Friends, I want to tell you something tonight. Uh, Amen. We need to get back to victory yes. that we one time had. Yeah. That amen at three o'clock in the morning. If you ring my phone and I could say hello, brother. Yeah. How can I help you? Come on, great train. What can I do for you? Yeah, come on, Ray. Hallelujah. Instead of looking at it, Amen. Said, oh God, Amen. What? What does he want now? Come on, Ray. Your feathers right. Is that right? That's right. Huh? That's right. But we ready still that. Right. Brotherly love. Come on, Ray. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I told him before service started this morning at Ivy Dale. I said we're too busy getting the saved saved and forgot about the lost. That's the truth. Amen. Yeah. Listen. What's he stole off of you? Mom. Amen. What's he stole off from you? Amen. Glory to the of God. Amen. What's he stole, Ricky? Amen. What's he stole, Ray? Amen, Donna. Amen, Glenda and Betty and Darlene. What's he stole off from you? Amen. What's he took from you? Yes. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Preacher, he ain't got nothing not for me. Hey, man, well, why are you dead? Yeah, and man. twice dead. Amen. And plucked up by the roots. Hey, man, glory to the Lamb of God. Oh. Hey, man, friends, tonight, I'm wanting the church to build. Hey, man, hallelujah, what's happened to that? Hey, man, that we could feel when we come in the door. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, oh. raise our hands and begin to shout the praises of God. Come on, man. Hey, man, we didn't have to wait till we got in the door. No. I'm right on the ground uh, that we can feel the Spirit of God. Uh, Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. What happened to the shout? Uh, Amen. That you may have seen like uh, and it's sold up uh, and you can't even open it. He might have reached the moment. Good, Randy. He stole. Stole. He come to steal joy, peace. Mm -hmm, right there. Amen. So, Happiness. He come to steal prophets. He mm -hmm. come to what? Steal the gifts of miracles. Yes. Amen. We come to steal the gifts of healing. Amen. We come to steal the speaking in tongues. Yeah. Amen. The shout. I know it ain't all in a shout. No. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. Amen. Hallelujah. When they walked around the walls of Jericho, yep. in that last time they had to shout. Had to Amen. They had. If they hadn't have shouted. The walls oh, wouldn't have come tumbling down. Right. Hey, man, Lord, the Lamb of God. Oh, man. Hey, man, friends, today, hey, man, we're living in a time that we got satisfied in a condition that we let the devil do to us whatever he wants to yeah. do and we don't say nothing about it. Oh, if 
a preacher preaches, uh, it's to somebody else and yep. not to me. Uh, Amen. Hey man, he didn't hit me. Uh, oh. That message ain't to me. I don't even know why. Uh, and he wants to preach like that. Uh, yeah. Well, why don't you open your ears? Uh, uh, why don't you open your eyes? Uh, uh, why don't you open your heart? Amen. Uh, hey man. Let it sink preach in. Preach, Randy. Come on. And you'll find out uh, uh, who the message is to. Yeah. Hey Amen. Truth. I made it run off. All right. I can make you feel better. I can make you feel better. Come on, Randy. Look over here. You know what he's done with us? He's took us up on the pinnacle. Yep. And he's offered us this, and we didn't file for it. Offered us this and we didn't file for it. Come on, Randy. Took us up a little higher. I'm taller than you boys now. Took us up a little higher. Said, look over all of this. Look over all of it. Amen. Look over all of it. I'll give it to you. Everything out there that you see, you can have. Hey man, come on, let me preach. Hey man. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God. David was a great king, wasn't he? Hey man. Yeah. Yeah. David was a great king, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Hey man. He sung a song, what was it? Or they sung a song, and what was it? Saul slew with what? A thousand. David killed ten thousand. Slew a ten thousand. Hey man, glory to the Lamb of God. And Saul got jealous. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And David told you, the brother, Saul's boy, he said, he's out to kill me. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's out to kill me. Yeah. Amen. Saul was uh, furious with him. Come on, preacher. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. And he was Saul's right hand man. Hey man, when the angel couldn't do nothing with Goliath, Goliath. Hey man, Lord, the Lamb of God, David said, I'll go. And when the army backed up and run, hey man, he said, I'll go. Hey man, listen to me a minute. Hey man, that devil had Israel, God's children, on the run. Hey man, they was afraid of him. And that's what's the matter with the people of God today. Uh, they're uh, scared of the devil. Yeah. Hey man, you ought to look him out of eye and rebuke him uh, and say, get behind me, say, come on, 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 but Saul, hey man, and David come in and begin to sing to him yeah. and he come right down. Yes. Uh, but he told that Saul's boy, oh, God. huh? God. He said, he's going to kill me. He's out to kill me. He's out to kill me. Amen. He said, no, no, no. No. He said, I'll tell you what we do. We'll go out there and we'll shoot arrow. Amen. And if I shoot one over you, you keep a going. And if I shoot it back my way, at simple terms, he said, you can come back. Hey man, and he shot that arrow, and it went over David. Yes. Hey man, told him to keep a going. Keep going. Hey man, and Saul got his army, well, and he you. went after him. Yeah. Hey man, and David had a change. Had a slew him, yeah, not only once but twice. Yeah. Hey man, even got a piece of his robe and his garment. Yeah. Hey man, Lord, the Lamb of God. Hey man, but that army said, "Why?" Why don't you can through him? He said, touch not God's anointed. Praise the Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen, friends. We're living in a world today. Amen, the church. And I'm talking about church world. It ain't a, they ain't afraid to touch one another. It don't matter if it's God's anointed or not. Amen. They don't care one bit. They're not feared. They're not afeared of God. They're more scared of the devil. Yes, they, are. they are God. Well, 
He's got them in that shape. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm not sugarcoating it. Amen for nobody. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God. I'm telling you tonight, if we want the victory back, yes. we'll have to go to battle with the devil. Amen. That's right. That's the truth. <clears throat> Help him, Lord. Preacher, I'm comfortable at where I'm at. I'm comfortable where I'm at. When I was a child, I guess younger than Andrew. Younger than Drew. When I was a child, my papa said, let's go to prayer meeting with me. I said, no, I don't want to go. He said, I'll buy you a pop on the way back. And I was young. He said, there's going to be a lot of kids here. I said, okay, I'll go. He didn't want to go by himself. He wanted somebody to walk with him. Back then, they walked everywhere they went. Amen. So I went. And this, I'm talking about this is a missionary Baptist. Man, amen. From top of his head to the bottom of his feet, he was missionary. Amen. You couldn't change him. Amen. But they went down there to that prayer meeting. And I'm telling you what. There was more shouting in that prayer meeting and a shouting and a dancing, amen, and a missionary. I thought this was all it was. Amen. I thought that was the way it was. Us kids was outside playing. And we stopped and stuck our head in the door uh, to see what was going on. Amen. See if it's killing one another or not. Amen. But let me tell you something. You know what it was? There was a racket in the house. Amen. There was a rumbling in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. That got us all kids interested in seeing what was going on. Yeah. We stopped our foolishness uh, and checked out what God was a doing. Uh, Hallelujah. When you get serious uh, and get a rumbling in the house of God uh, and a racket in the house of yeah, God uh, that the world ain't heard in a long time, uh, they'll come and check it out. Uh, yeah. right. That's the truth. People don't like me. Because I tell the truth. Still. Bless you, Lord. You open the door. Yep, that's the truth. I am the door. You went in the main door. Uh-huh. You knocked, he opened, you went in. Church, do you believe this word of God? Yes. Huh? Do you believe the Word of God? Man. Peter said, Upon this rock, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Well, what's happened? Come on, Ray. Huh? What's happened? They sung the song, I'm planted by the water. Come on, Ray. And I shall not be moved. Just like a tree planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Amen. Have you got away from the water? Come on, Ray. Hallelujah, Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen. Oh. Amen. Has the devil went upstream? Amen. And they build a dam and stop the water flow. Come on. Amen. Come on. You need to walk up there and tear it down. You need to get a hold of the Holy Ghost and send it up the river and tear it down. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God. I better go on. Preaching good. I can't get off of steel. Look at all he stole. Look what he, and when he steals something off from him, he wants to put a, a fake in its place. Yeah, that's right. And that 
you don't know that it's him. That's, he stole the genuine uh -huh. and gave you an artificial yeah. a counter. And you ain't close enough to God to know it. Come on, preach. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Delilah uh -oh. kept on Samson. Mm -hmm. hey Amen. He lied to her. He lied to her. He lied to her. He lied to her. And that's what a lot, a lot of people has done. Come on. They've laid their head down in the world's right. lap. Yes. Yep. Galala's lap. Come on, preacher. Amen. Amen. They've laid their head down in the world's mm -hmm. lap. We'll call her Delilah. Yep. And we'll call her Samson. Oh. Amen. Is that right? Yep. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. And as long as we don't tell them where our power is, they can't get to us. Every time that they come after us, come we just break the blinds and go on. Yeah. But one day after a while, come on, Randy. she looked at him. She said, if you truly love me, yeah. you'll tell me the truth yeah. where your power comes from. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It wasn't his vow. No. It, it wasn't, wasn't his, his vow. No. It was a vow that his mama made yeah. to God. Yeah. Amen. That a razor would never touch his hair. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. All she had to do is take a razor and cut one lock. Yep. It didn't matter. She, man, she didn't have to cut every one of them, but she, she cut them out. He said, my power lays in my hair. Amen, Lord, the Lamb of God. Now, I don't know how we get a power with preaching on long hair because I don't know how long it's long. No. Amen, Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen, I do know the Bible says if a man have long hair, it's a shame unto him. See? I think if it gets long enough for it to cover my face as a veil, it's too long. Amen, and Lord, the Lamb of God. Because a woman's hair is for a veil to cover her face. Right. Amen, when she prays. Amen, and that's the glory of her, of a man. That's the truth. Book. Is that the book? Yeah. But you keep it in a bow, and how are you going to let it cover? Hey, my hey, preacher. Hey, my Charlie, Ricky's aunt, Lucille's sister-in-law. She called him first time I ever heard it. Her hair was up like this. I mean, she had a big bun. Charlie. Yeah. And she said it's a PhD. I said, my God, what's that? Pentecostal hair do. That's what Roy used to call it. PhD. Yeah. They didn't keep them up long ago. Shut the body pins out. Yeah. I tell you what, we need some veals. Yeah. And some prayer behind them veals. Come on, Randy. Yeah. That's the truth. How many times do you read your Bible at home? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get serious with me. Yeah. yeah. Amen. How many times do you read your Bible? I ain't got time. The devil says I got to do The devil's told you you had to do this, 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 and this. If you don't got all that done, it, you get all tore up. He got you in a shape that you can't even read your Bible. Hey, Amen, preacher. Hey, Amen. Happy more. Uh, my mind is occupied and I can't read it. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. I, I carry a Bible in my truck. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. They don't know it, but every once in a while I'll sit down and I'll get that Bible out and I'll read me a chapter. Come on, preach. I'll close it up and i put it back. Uh -huh. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Every once in a while I'll sneak into an empty apartment. Amen. Well, I don't have to do it, but I'll get down and pray just a little while. Oh, Amen. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. They don't know it. Not on hand. It don't matter it don't if they did. 
If they walked in on me praying, I wouldn't quit. Hey Amen. If they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm calling out on God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Well, preacher, I can't do that. Why can't we? Where's the victory? Don't you want it? Oh, if yeah, I pray no. out over where I work, they farm me. God would have you another yeah, job right. working on you. Amen. He wouldn't let you go hungry. Everything be alright. Still. Still, well, I may read once a week, but my main reading is when I go to church. Yeah, I follow the preacher. Well, I'll tell you what to do. Let me just tell you. Preach, preach. Amen. Leave your Bible closed, and when you go home, open up and read what I'm reading. Just listen to me. Amen. Amen. Read it when you get home. Hallelujah. You get more out of it that way. Yeah. Amen. You won't be distracted. You won't see somebody and start poking the one beside of you or behind you or in front of you. Come on, Randy. Distracting the whole church. Preach, preacher. Amen. Amen. Getting their attention. Come on, man. I look for lost here. And I hope this church don't do nothing to distract the lost person. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the devil come out and say, smack them. Yep. That's the truth. Smack them. Get them started. That way that sinner's distracted. Yeah. It's been done a lot here. It has. That's the truth. Been done a lot here. Amen. Kill. Kill. Don't have to take a gun. No, no. Don't have to take a knife. No. Sure don't. He's done stole out what you got. Amen. Then you're just empty right now. Mm. Right. You're dried up. Come on. Then it comes to find you in. And what good are you? He says, what good are you? Just sit right down. Right. Never open your eyes. Just sit there like a zombie. Just moving around every once in a while. Well, I've got to do something or I think I'm dead. Well, you're already dead. He's killed you. Amen. So, you took everything that you got. Yep. Come on. Amen. You open the door. You invite him in. Yeah. Amen. Lord, Lord, well, what's the use of me going on? Amen. I'm gonna preach to you why. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen. What good am I to Anthony? What good am I to Little Rick? Come on, preach. Amen. What good am I to Lucille? Amen. Nobody wants to hear me now. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. He's killed me. He's caused me to lose confidence in everybody that's in here. Ain't nobody living right but me. Amen. 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 Lord, I didn't mean to go that route. Amen. But it's all right. Amen. It is. Amen. Ain't that right? You ever been in that condition? Amen. I have. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Hmm? I've had the Pharisee jacket on the floor. The mercy jacket. Pharisee. Pharisee. That's what I called it. Pharisee. Yeah. Jacket. I had the judgment jacket. <coughs> what are we doing? Hmm. Jess has got a beautiful voice. Yes, she does. But she don't want nobody to hear it. Right. Rick can sing. Yep. Come on. Come on, Randy, every morning. I'm going to preach it. Rick, I hurt your feelings. I'm not sorry. <laughs> he wants the Lord to move on. Come on. Yep. He wants the Lord to move on that knee. That he don't have to have surgery. Yes. But if the Lord would rake him around here in this floor like he normally does sometimes. Come on, man. Come on, preacher. Would you be yeah, yeah. I'm afraid of hurting that knee. They'll say, oh, you'll throw that knee plumb out. Come on, Randy. They'll really have to do surgery on you. Come on, man. preacher. Come on. Yeah, he does. You better take it easy. Come on, man. Great training. I want you to say. Sam and good. You better take it easy. Uh-huh. 
Now maybe the Lord will come by. Come on, man. Maybe he maybe he'll heal you. Come on, Randy. He ain't going to take all of that away from you. Because if he tries to take all of it away from you, he knows that he ain't going to get it. That's right. He, he knows that you'll rebel on him and say, yes, the Lord's going to move from me. Hallelujah, Lord, the Lamb of God. He la da 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 time. He la da my time. Oh, Lamb of God. Hallelujah. How many times? Amen. People don't know. Amen. But I've been fighting something for over a year. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Wanting the Lord to move. Darling, don't know what nobody else knows. And I ain't telling nobody. Not darling or nobody. Amen. I need the Lord to move in something for me. Yeah, come on. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Been for over a year. I'm still hanging on to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Expecting Him to move. Hallelujah. Oh, preacher, it's a heart. No, no. Don't ask me what it is. That's God. And if God wants you to know, He'll tell you. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. I've got hope. Amen. In God of moving for me. And the devil ain't going to kill it. Amen. And steal it away from me. I know what God can do. Yeah. Come on, preacher. I know, but you need to go to the doctor. Why do I need to go to the doctor? I go to the doctor every day. Come on, Randy. Go to the doctor in prayer. Come on, preacher. Hey, man, I go to the great physician every day. Come on, preacher. Can I let me now? I'll go back to him. Go before then, too. Huh? You'll go before then, too. And before then. <laughs> I need him to move. You think the devil would like to kill my faith? He would. Yeah, he would. He'd like to destroy it, Randy. Come on. You think he'd like to kill it? Yeah. You think he'd like to kill what you got? Yes, he would. The victory that you've had over the addictions that you've had in your life? He'd like to kill that faith that you got victory in it. Yeah. Give him more. People said, I just couldn't take it. I had to give in. I had to give in. You know what gets me? And don't don't nobody get hurt at me. Happy more. My brother loved Tim Rains. And he'd go hear him when he come up to the chapel or some boy. He'd go hear him. And don't get me wrong, I love Tim too. But you know what got my brother? He'd go down at that jail and he preached to them. And my brother would act so good down there. And when he got out, he was going to straighten up. He was going to do good. Amen. But amen, he would for a day or two. Or an hour or two. Let's just get it down there. An hour or two. Amen. And then the next thing you know, he'd have a needle. Amen. Or a liquor bottle or a beer bottle. Hey man, and he just couldn't hang on. Yeah. Hey man, he had good intentions. Yeah. Hey man, but the devil didn't let him hang on to them. No, come hey on, man, preacher. my friends, tonight. Hey man, he's come to steal and kill. Right. Hey man, he'd like to kill every faith. Yeah. That that you've got that he can't take away from you. He'd like to kill the faith that yeah. God, you that you believe in God. Yeah. Hey man, that God's going to move for you. Yeah. Hey man, and God's going to touch you. Hey man, and God's going to help you in the need that you have. Hey man, but glory to the Lamb of God. Hey man, He'd like to take that away from you. Amen. But I want to tell you tonight, we've got a Savior that said, I'll go with you all the way, even until the end. I'll go with you. I won't leave you, uh, hey man, hopeless. Come on, I won't let you climb the tree and cut the limb off. No. I'll sit right on the limb with you. Yes. Hey man, Lord, the Lamb of God, when He builds you a ditch up kid and wants you to fall in, I'll put a net across it and you can walk right on. Come on Woo! Amen. If I hang on to Jesus, He cannot kill what I got. If I hang on to Him with dear life, I've got to hang on to Him. 
What else have you got to hang on to? Hey Amen. What else you got? Hey Amen. The devil will worry you to death, won't he? Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. He'll try you in every way. Hey Amen. You don't think the Lord was watching over Drew yesterday? Sure was. Hey Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. It could have been worse than what it was. Yeah. Hey yeah. Amen. That boy over there could have got run over. Hey Amen. Very simple. Amen. If he would have turned the wheel the other way, yep. it could have got him. Hallelujah, Lord, the Lamb of God. He's been blessed more than he knows. Hallelujah. The Drew was in the truck. Come on. Hey man, but that, he wasn't going to get hurt no. huh? unless a car come down through there. Huh? Yes. And God made sure a car didn't yes. even come down. Yes. That's right, man. Had mercy. Amen. He was right behind the truck. Yeah, he, he was. was. But we're not thankful. Huh? Well, if I know that's going to have preacher, I wouldn't need as much. I can do better on an empty stomach. He's just working it off. Listen, church. He stole. Look at what I always stole from the tabernacle. Yeah. Yeah, Look at them empty benches. Stole Look at all your friends that used to come here. Yeah. Okay. Look at all your friends that used to come here. Stole Some of you's run them off. I didn't say that. Yeah, my preacher. Opened your mouth and tried to do the pastor's job. When it's your wasn't your job to do it. Amen. And they got hurt and left. Come on, preacher. Just the truth. Hey man, why don't you just let the pastor do this job? Come on, I'm the pastor. I can preach about me, can't preach you? Preach it, Randy. Because if you butt in, I ain't saying nothing. Come unless on. I get you. And maybe I ought to start getting you. Huh? I've been talking to them and they opened their mouth and I said, Whoa, oh, I'm doing the talking I don't need you to. That's right. That's the wrong with it. Huh? Nothing wrong with it. Come on, preacher. We let the devil use us yep. to destroy people. Right. I ain't down there yet. <sighs> Come on, Randy. Have you ever seen that, Jerry? I've seen it. More times than I can't. Huh? I've seen it. Then after it happens, we wonder why did I do that? Yep. I made a mistake. I was out of line. Yep. Pastor's gets in that shape too. Don't oh, get yeah. me wrong. Oh yeah. Come on, if they use knowledge and wisdom, they can get themselves out of it. Amen. But when a sister hurts a sister, it's easier for a city to be won than to win that sister back. That's right. When a brother hurts a brother, right? Huh? It's easier to get win a city than it is that brother. Yep. It's hard. It's hard. Well, what do I want to go back for? They're just going to hurt me again. Yep. That's the truth. The very words. Huh? The very yep. words. That's the very words. Amen. You got to straighten them up or get rid of them before I ever come back. Come on, I know what I'm preaching. Yeah. You know the truth. Yeah, the truth. I know what I'm preaching. Yeah. Exactly what preaching. Amen, Lord, the Lamb of God. And you don't hear that much. Amen. Our biggest enemy ain't the world tonight. No. It's letting the devil use us to destroy one another. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can tame every animal in this world. But this tongue is an unruly. Amen. Remember. Amen. And full of deadly poison. Amen. Amen. You need to drop away to fight for me then. Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Am I doing all right? Sounding good. Am I doing all right? Sounding good. Amen. I know it's homecoming me. Amen. Well, you ain't going to have nobody. It'll be me. And Darlene, if she can take me. Amen. Lord, the Lamb of God. Amen. But let me take you. Amen. Let me read that next one. I'm going to read the other one. Amen. And to destroy. I preach too long, Anthony. Yeah, I have. Destroy. How does he destroy? Amen, huh? I'm close to it. Amen. You're trying to get iron and a half out of me, ain't you? Amen. Huh? How does he, how does he destroy it? Come on, Randy, help you more. If I was you, I'd go to the doctor. Yep. Yep. Yeah. If I was you, I'd just sit right still. Yep. Come on, preach. I wouldn't look too much. You know how hard to get out of the river. Yep. If I was you, I, I wouldn't move too much because you know your blood pressure is getting up. You don't stand too long. <coughs> yeah, don't stand too long. <coughs> you know your legs will start hurting here in a minute. Hallelujah. So you need to sit down and rest yourself. Yeah. Amen. He destroys us. Yeah. Amen. That we started out with a good work. Oh yeah. We started out doing good. Uh -huh. And who hindered us? Who stopped us from doing that that God would have us to do? Amen. Hallelujah. Thus among ourselves, we think that we're doing good. No. We're thinking that we're helping and we're watching over them. Uh -huh. But the only thing that we're doing, we're feeding them unbelief and to stop them from doing what God would have them to do. Amen. Amen. We need to quit with the unbelieving stuff. Amen. Amen. I watch what I eat. Mm -hmm. I do. I watch what I do. I do. From my fork to my mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Patsy said she never seen a little man eat some new crab legs. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Well, just Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. What, what were you at, Ricky? Why can't we show them the Word of God in my can? We used to. We still can. Amen. Why don't we add to our faith? Yeah. Amen. We quit adding and started Mom. subtracting. Mom, right. Amen. Taking away from yeah, what man. we had. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. All right. And we're still sitting back. Amen. Saying, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Still saying we're doing our best. Come, Come on, preacher. All right. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. I'd like I to see him. Come, Come on. See it and go out well. Amen. I'd like to see him have a problem. And the prophet come by oh. and said, I know what it is. I've seen it. Oh. I heard your cry. Yeah. And I'll take care of it. Yeah. This time tomorrow, the problem will be solved. Thank you. It'll still work, Randy. Come on. Well, Come on, Randy. It'll work that way. It'll work. work that way. Come on. Time. I don't have to get on the phone, no. call your wife up, Come on. call your neighbor up, yeah. and say, what's going on? How can I talk to him? Hey, man. That prophet telephone. what did you call it the other night? Yeah. Hey, what? Telegraph, tele telephone, and tele-Facebook. Yeah. I was thinking Facebook too. Hey, Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It has. They tell it, tell it, tell it. Yeah, they do. Ain't nothing secret. Oh, whatever you hear in this. Amen. In secret. Shout upon the house, sir. Amen. Amen. Whatever you hear in secret. Don't tell me nothing that you want to keep secret. Because I can't keep a secret. <laughs> Shout it on the housetop. Amen. If you want somebody, amen, not to tell it, don't tell me. 
Amen. Because I'm going to tell you, somewhere down the line, it'll slip out. Yeah. It'll come out. I'll begin to talk. And I'll say, whoop, after I say, oh, I wouldn't post to say nothing. Don't say nothing. Yeah. Amen. Too late. Yeah. I don't spit it out. Yeah. Amen. Didn't mean to, but I did anyway. Yeah. So fire warning to you tonight. Don't tell me nothing that you don't want me to tell. Devil who? You can tell me your secrets. Oh yeah. Then the devil's got you. Then the devil's got you. That's right. He's got a cap on his head. And he's reminding you with an earbud. Saying, I know what you thought. I know what you done. I know what you done. I'm going to tell them if you don't settle down. If you don't keep it up, I'm going to tell on you. You know what I do? I just say, spill it. Spill it. You ain't holding nothing over my head. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. God's got the victory tonight. He does. He come to destroy you. He did. Amen. Everybody says, if the devil was in here, I'd give him a black eye. Yeah, I well, I'll tell you what. When the sinner comes in here, go back there and give him a black eye. Come on, Randy. Only way you're going to give the devil a black eye is by doing what God would have you to do. That's right. And resisting him. And telling him to get behind you. Amen. That's the only way you're going to give him a black eye. Yeah. He's come to destroy you. If he can get your temper up, yep, that's what he wants. Yeah. If he can get you to show yourself uh, out in the public, that's what he wants. Amen. Because, hey man, when he kills your confidence, hey man, with the world, when the world loses their confidence in you, wow. hey man, you are destroyed yep. because you will never gain it back. No. Hey man. You may do something in front of me. And I see it and I come to you. Yeah. You may say, forgive me. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive me. Yeah. And I'll forgive you. Yeah. Right. You go down there to that lost man. You go down there to him and say, I know I've done something wrong in front of you. Will you forgive me? He's going to say, oh, I, didn't. I don't think nothing about that. Hey, I tell you, I don't think, oh, that wasn't nothing big. I don't, and I'll tell you what. A man in the back of his mind says, yeah, if you'll do it right here, you'll do it again. Yep. Hey, man, if you've done it once, you'll do it again. Hey, man, glory to the Lamb of God. Hey, man, he's wanting to kill you and destroy you yeah, in front of the world Amen. that you'll have no influence with them. Right. Hey, man, but listen to what else it said. I ain't got through this verse. <laughs> Elmer, I ain't got through this verse. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me. <laughs> I am come that they might have a have life and that they might have it more abundantly. You got victory. You've got life. Don't let the devil steal it from you. Hey man, he's greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Hey man, started on it a while ago. When he steals off from you, he'll put what back? If he takes love, he'll put bitterness, hatred. Hey man, in there. If he steals joy, he'll put sadness. Hey man, if he steals happiness, He'll put misery. Uh -huh. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. And you know misery loves company. Amen. Oh, amen. It wants everybody misery around. He come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Amen. He come to increase your faith yes, and yeah. let you grow into this. Yeah. And the Bible said one planet and another oh, water water, oh, but God uh, gave it the increase. Right. Yeah. I don't care how much you try to grow on your own. Uh, if you don't take the word of God yeah, and let somebody true. water it. God cannot increase you. That's right. What does the word of God profit you? Ricky brought it up. If it's not mixed with faith, nothing. No. It, won't profit it profit nothing. Really. Nothing. 
Andrew. Feel like rubbing? Huh? Feel like running? I hope not. You need to wake up. Not naturally speaking, but you need to wake up. Amen. Spiritually, you need to wake up. The thief come at night to steal your goods. And it ain't midnight, and then you up and thinking there's a ghost in the house either. Amen. When you sleep on the job. Praise the Lord. Body exercise profit little. You can jump up and down like a yo-yo, but if it ain't in the spirit, you're wasting that time. Amen. That's the truth. I thank God for being here, Anthony. Amen. He come to give you victory. Yes. You got victory over the devil. Yeah. But you gotta learn to keep your nose in your own business. Oh, oh God. Amen. 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 Huh? You can't have your nose in everybody else's business and tend to yours and God's. Amen. If you keep yourself in line, that's all required of you. Yeah. It ain't right to keep everybody else in line and know what everybody else is doing. If God wants you to know what a man raise are doing, he will tell you what raise are doing. That's yeah. right. You never did answer my question a while ago. Would you be willing? Wobble all over the floor. You think they would be behind you in case you fall? No. Yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> She's all real faith. Come on. Happy more. No preaching. Huh? Come on. Amen. One, two, three. All the kids stand up, and that concludes you, John Allen. You might grow up since you started back to school. That's you, too. Stand up. Oh, she's been asleep. Stand up for a minute. Just stand up. Give me a key on that. All you kids, all you young people, you on in it? All you young people, I want you to sing me a verse of Jesus loves me. And I want you to listen to this. Right? And will you sing me just a little bit of it? Or you can sing all of it if you want to. It don't matter to me. Whenever you're ready. That's why he died for me and you. He died for that we could have life and have it more abundantly. And he said, I go and prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place, I'll come again and receive you where I am. And thou you may be also. And the Lord, how do we know? How do I know where you are going? And the way you know. There ain't a soul in this house tonight that's been born again that don't know the way. That's right. That's right. They don't. 
They know the way. Yeah. I love you tonight. Jesus loves you that much more. Yes, he does. He loves you enough to stretch one arm on that cross, end of the cross, yep. one arm on that cross, and his feet on the bottom. That's right. And let them hang him in between the heavens and the earth. Yes, he did. Put a crown of thorns upon his head. Them yeah. things are sharp. Yeah, they are. Right. Them things are sharp. Sure is. Put a sign over it that says, King of the Jews. They won't even take it down. He said it's written. He's written. He's written. He wouldn't change it. They wanted him to say, he said. They wouldn't change it, preacher. But when that hour comes, that he bowed out his head. And said it is finished. And that bill rent, rent from top to bottom. Boys, they know they done something. <coughs> they know that they done something. When we go before him, and he opens the books, I'm going to be judged out of the New Testament because I don't live under the law. That's right, Randy. I live by faith and not by sight. And he opens another book, which is the book of life. Yeah. And if he can't find my name in that book. Yeah, we'll be lost, Randy. Yeah. I can't say, well, Robert told me I was saved. Little Rick told me I was saved. Anthony told me I was, I was a great preacher. Man, it come time to know for you, sir. That won't help me one bit, brother. No. I'd say, get him up here and let him, let him plead my case for Get him up here and let him tell me that I, they said I was saved. It work. I don't care how much they tell me. Your name's not here. More. I don't care how many friends you got and how many people think you're a one Christian. God knows. Yes. And I hope if there's somebody in a lukewarm condition or a way that seemeth right under man yeah. before this meeting's over with that they'll pray and seek God and get out of it. Yes. I thank God for being here. Good way to start, boy. Yeah. God to keep it going. Oh, you boys. Huh. And thank the Lord for being here. Thank you for the message Brother Randy's preached to us tonight. We're going to get out of this meeting, whatever we put into it. That's exactly yeah. right. Everybody that's saved here tonight has got a job to do. Yep. He went out into the vineyard and he hired them up to the level there. Every one of them has something to do. Yeah. We have got something to do. Yeah. Thank God for being here. Someone got a testimony. Someone else.
I thank the Lord for being here tonight. I thank Him for what He is me. You know, as Randy is talking right then, I, I can't think about something my old nephew said to me uh, the other day. But he is talking about how we had a we, we had a good time at his house the other day. Lord moved, we was praying, and the uh, Lord really moved real, real good. But after that, his head's fine right there at the house. And he talking about how much he loved, loved the Lord. And he said, I thank him for dying on the cross. And then shedding his blood for us. He said, and it really got me thinking, he said, I can only imagine how heavy that cross was. Yeah. He said, just my sins alone yeah. should have been enough to crush him. Yeah. But you think he, he, he That's held the, the, the world. Come on, the room. entire world. Not yes. just one person. Just mine, mine world. alone. Should have been enough to crush him. Yeah. But yeah. I, he's saying that this, this age, all of us. Thank God for what he is to me. Thank, thankful that he found me one day. And, you know, I didn't go out and find him, but he found me. He I found me. me. I thought Megan, everything she went through, all the sicknesses and stuff. She had that moy moy disease, and the doctors was talking about doing brain surgery on her, and I gave up her wrist for her. Everywhere that I went. No, no. You know, visit White Rock. Uh, and the Lord began to move on me to go pray for her. And, you know, we left the church, and I said, I really feel like the Lord's done something for you. You know, later on that night, you know how the enemy does. He hears you. Later on that night, she had a gallbladder attack, and ended up having that surgery for that. Father we went to Charlottesville. Come on, son. Hey, come on. She's seen those doctors up there. She's seen two year of surgery. My Lord. Come on, Ron. They sent her up there because they wanted her to have brain surgery done. Come on, Ron. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that she didn't have to have no brain surgery. Come on. Done. Come on, Robert. Hit him more. The doctors, they looked at the scans and stuff, and they said, we don't know how. Come on. But new blood pathways is formed to your brain. Come on. Said, we don't know how, but that blood is flowing into your brain. Said, we'd have to cut you open and put a little hole through there and run one of your veins into your brain. Come on, But said, you're getting all the blood you need. And that great physician you talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's it. He touched my life. Come on. And there ain't no reason why he can't do it for the rest of us. Amen. Right. I thank him for this. Yeah, come on. A couple of years ago, she had a scan done. They found two tumors in her brain. Side by side. We're standing in a neurosurgeon's office. He pulled up one scan and showed them tumors. In the middle of her brain. Ricky, they pulled up another screen. Nothing. And there wasn't nothing there. Nothing. This man that we serve, he can still do the things that we need done. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God today. Lord, I'm going to. Glad of everything he's done for me. Yeah. 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 I love you all here. Yeah. I don't get to come over much. But when I do, I'm glad to see you face because I love you. I've always felt welcome here. I've always felt the liberty when I come over. Come on. I'm good. I'm glad to be here. It's been good to be here. I was glad to hear a good preaching and yeah. preach to us. You know that not everybody gets to hear that. But you can preach it to me. Yes. If people don't want to hear it, I'll sit here and I'll listen to every word you got to say. Oh, I don't oh, care oh, how hard oh, it is. You step on these toes, oh, I'll try oh, my best to move up to oh, it. Oh, not long. Come on, sir. I'm glad to hear a good preaching because yeah. you don't get to hear it oh, no, everywhere you go. No, Y'all pray for us. It's good to be here. Amen. Good testimony. The was here. Good testimony. Someone else. Not tonight. Not tonight. So after that, I asked him, I said, Lord, what would you have me to do? 
Get praise. Get praise. Hallelujah. That's good enough for me. Well, no, yeah. That's good enough for me. He, thought, he said, if you want to plead, get praise. Just praise, praise. Him. Yeah. Amen. So what could we do if we could just please him? Just please him. Just please him. What could you, what, what could you have if you just please him? Yeah. What would the Lord bring you through if you just please him? I thought, you know, I'm glad I pleased him one day, Randy, when, yeah. when I had my accident. I, I was headed down the wrong kind of road. But I thought I'd change my, my mind. I guess you could say I changed my mind. And I said, no, oh, Lord, this is the wrong way. I said, it's me and you from now on. And I pleased him. I done everything he'd have me to do. He'd tell me to do, Randy, I'd do it. Oh, no. I thought the day of my accident, uh, when the pain was getting too unbearable, all I had to do was say, Lord, if you don't come now, I ain't going to make it through this. Come it was gone. Come never on. had another bit of pain after that, Randy. Come I pleased him. Right, but we got to please him to get what we need. Yeah. How to please him. Right, yeah. What do we need you gotta through this meeting, Randy? If I could ask anything, what do we need through this meeting? Yeah. What do you need that we're going to have all week long to do? Don't wait till the last day to try to please him. No. I want to no. please him each night. Yeah, I he, every night that I get to come, I want to please him every sure night that I come to the door. Not only that, but I want to please him out here. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to be pleasing to the Lord. Don't yeah. you? Would you like to say to the Lord? Would you, would you like to the Lord? He's told me before, Randy, that I pleased him. Yeah. He's let me know that I yeah, pleased him. Yeah, he let you know. Not just by doing something, but he spoke to me and said, I'm well pleased. Well pleased, yeah. Ain't nothing better than my ears to hear him say, That's it. Yeah. I'm well pleased. Uh, it's not been too long ago that he couldn't tell me that, but I'm, I'm glad tonight. He can yeah. whisper down in my ear and tell me, well yeah. pleased. I love him tonight. I love everybody. I always have. And I thought, you know, it's pleasing. Each one of us. Just please. If it's just just the simple things that he tells you to do, just obey it and do it. Amen. Someone else. Brother Rick, you know, I'm a backwards a lot of times. I really am. Sometimes I get myself confused a lot of times. And I ain't by no means perfect. I'm just like anybody else. But I'm asking the church tonight, that Sunday night, or it might have been a Wednesday night, I don't know when it was, but it was the night that y'all prayed for my arm. And I had to go to the doctor that far and she was there with me. I got my results, because I did cut that thing off my arm. Right there. I cut it off. And it went. You know, maybe most of the time it's just two or three days later and you'll get your test results. But it come back and they didn't call me till like a week and a half after they done it. It was like it, you know, why ain't they calling it? But they, when they finally did, it was the same thing that someone else. But that night that the church prayed for me, I took it home with me that night. And I am scheduled for surgery on September the 4th to have, I can't pronounce the word, it's sarcomas or something like that. And it is the kind that can spread. But I don't want it to be that really, because I trusted in the Lord that night when I had the church to pray for me. And when I go, I'm going to go back on the September the 4th, and I'm going to. And I want the church to pray for me again this night. Because I know God's power is real. I know it's real. I know it's real. But when I go back on September the 4th, I'm going to have them to do another biopsy. Because I'm not going to real cut on me other than do another biopsy to show them that I ain't dead. Because I don't want that cancer now, Rick. I'm tired of them with cancer. I've dealt with it for the last few years, and I'm over it. I'm over it. I had stitches from here up to here. I had a place right here many years ago. I had it on this side and now and the last little bit of my nose. And now here I am again facing it again. And I don't want this. I'm over it. So I went to the church to, you know, I want to have my faith that I used to have. I want it to build back. And it's going to take me to get there. But I'd like to ask the church to remember my honor when you pray. And I thank you for what he means to me. I thank you for I know that he's a real God. And I know that he can move. 
And I want to give it all in here. Don't want to worry about it no more. I don't know. My knees can't for mine. I don't know. I don't know. But just remember, they were just crazy. Thank God for being here. Some more dance. Praise the Lord for what He is to me. Uh, Randy took and mentioned it there earlier, and I took them. I, I thought how how much, you know, Anthony, that the uh, things could be a whole lot different tonight. Oh, yeah. Andrew could have been in the hospital, could have been paralyzed. Anything could have happened. John Allen, if the Lord hadn't had mercy, hadn't had compassion, could have been laid down here at McNeil's. Uh, just a, a different number of outcomes. Could have come out from that, but I thank God tonight that He took and He watched over both my children. You know, it's just something other so simple. And so many times in my lot, we take things for granted in this life. How easy things could have been different. I praise the Lord tonight for what He is to me. He's been a merciful God, Jerry. Been a compassionate God. Anthony, He's been more to me than I've been to Him. Been my Savior. He's been my, been my comforter. Robert, he's been my Prince of Peace. Yeah. He's been my lily in the valley. Man, I thank God man. whenever I needed, to, I needed him to come by. He told me he's been right by my side. I appreciate him tonight. I don't know what he's been to nobody else, but I know. I know exactly what he's been to me. And he's been a friend. He stuck closer to me than anybody in this church has been. Right. I appreciate him tonight. He's been good to me. Praise the Lord. Someone else. All right, I'll stand, pray, and be dismissed. No, no, no. no, no. We can be we back here tomorrow night. We can pray and dismiss. We yeah, yeah. need to go tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Yeah.